I've been drawing since I was a kid, and uh, luckily I felt compelled to keep doing it into adulthood. And over time, I think I became less afraid of trying to focus on painting and all the different dimensions of that that are added to the program when you switch over from drawing to painting. I've been in Detroit 10 years. I bought an abandoned house and fixed it up seven years ago till now. It's taken a long time and a lot of work. I try to extend outside of just what's gonna go in an art gallery or on a wall somewhere, especially far away, and also have that to be immediately around us. My first big mural with a lift, I think was 2015 or 2016. I got to get a few under my belt here and then I started being asked and invited to do them in other cities and then other countries and other places and it spread from there. I found over time that really if I don't pay attention to what I'm feeling excited about in that moment and really try to chase that and, and stay true to that, then the work's not gonna be as good. Photos have always been important because they also just teach you how to compose and I kind of see what I do as being a picture maker. I don't see a huge difference between the different mediums, you know. You're just trying to grasp at something that's just a little beyond your comprehension and you have to try a bunch of different tools to do it and sometimes what ones work and what ones don't surprise you. Why would someone choose to paint this subject matter or this is what they left to tell someone in the future about what was going on in this moment? I'm trying to start with thinking about the passage of time. What someone would see if they looked at these a hundred years from now or like you're making these little artifacts that you're going to put in a time capsule. So thinking of it that way makes me really feel like I can start to orient what's important about what I'm going to put in a painting. Deep down, it's tough to make sense of being alive and what it feels like, and a lot of it is, is sad and hard, you know, and uh, I think it's like this total struggle of confronting those things, and, and yeah, it's a complex thing, and so I hope that would come through in the paintings in some way, but it's almost something that happens in a way you're unaware of. The subject matter, especially the landscapes that were chosen or what the scenery is, but this is the world around me and this is the world a lot of people live with full on every day. So to be honest, in the work you make, you don't have to be living in a really exceptional place. Like You're almost at an advantage if you're living in a place that could be anywhere, if you uh, know how to expose that in the right way. You don't have to be a cool person to make cool art. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>